Hi guys, what's up? Back with another awesome video, Rackboy86. Now today, we're going to be doing a care video on the banded tortoise snail. They are found from the Indo-Pacific region, Indian Ocean, and around Australia and the GBR. They are herbivores and will peacefully graze on diadomes, cyanobacteria, and many types of algae in the home aquaria, though they will only passively feed off harmful algae such as hair. They are very peaceful and are very compatible with literally any other thing you can put in your saltwater community tank. Of course there is the tiny chance that they will knock over bits of coral frags and decor but that's the same with any snail and they can go with crabs because it's very difficult for them to get into their shell. We've had this banded toucher snail for six months now and he's been a really great addition and his name is Turbo and he spends most of his time on the live rock or the glass just peacefully grazing and minding his own business. Also another great thing about them is that they very readily breed in the home aquaria and as they cost £2.50 and can have 200 plus babies if you think in business that's quite a bit of dosh. Also, as they're hermaphrodites, they carry male and female breeding organs. So you'll know that it's happened when white sperm is released into the water and then it will get fertilized by another snail. So even if they had just 200, that would be... 500 pounds in baby banded totra snails. Wow. As for tank size, they need about a five gallon tank with about two to three extra gallons per snail as they are compatible with each other. Also, they are sensitive to high nitrates in an aquaria and they cannot be exposed to copper-based medicine. No, 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 no! Which is a pain because that is a treatment for a lot of diseases like marine ick. Also, if there isn't enough algae in your tank, they could starve. So remember to add in extra algae supplements, such as Nori. Plus, another great thing about them is that if they fall off any decor, they can always flip themselves back over onto the right side, unlike a lot of other snails. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would definitely recommend a Tocha snail for all levels of aquarius they're very easy to keep and they're great for your tank because of their vibrant coloration and their pink and white shell and also they're very beneficial to your tank so i would definitely recommend getting one and secondly our number of subscribers has gone massive now and we're probably turning into quite a big channel so remember after you watch this video like it and if you aren't subscribed subscribe Thanks for watching. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.